Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been that drunk in my life. There's one thing she gonna do is come through for your girl. But this is just my little one, two, one, two. Put it all together, that's what we did. She's cute. <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to my channel i know i know it's been it's been a long time it's been a long time but i'm back um yeah so welcome back to my channel if you're new hi my name is Kristen. i do beauty fashion and lifestyle content still on the road to 500 subbies so please come join the family um, today I just decided that I'm gonna show you guys my no makeup makeup look. I have mentioned this in previous videos and I've even kind of shown you guys but not like showing you the products and really what I do. So I thought I would do an in-depth video. Um, as you can see I've already done my eyebrows because y'all they take me forever to do. So I got them out of the way because if I sat here and did my eyebrows this video would be ridiculously long for no reason with just short eyebrows so um we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it i'm gonna show you the products as well as have them listed down below in the description and we're just gonna chit chat a little bit give a little update of where i've been and what's been going on so yeah let's get into it so first i'm gonna start off with this uh mario badescu face mist just to like you know give myself a little oh my gosh just to give it a little moisture you know not too much and then I'm gonna go in with can you guys see that the one size it is the secure the sweat primer now i just started using this if i don't use this i just started using this so if i don't use this i will also use the elf uh power grip primer love this y'all already know what's up with this but today we're gonna go ahead and use the one size and i am not using foundation so i'm just gonna do not too much just like in my t-zone really is where i put the primer but yeah y'all i am i am so sorry that i have been like mia on youtube but i have really not been doing too much so i've been kind of like what content to put out there because i've been mainly vlogging lately I don't have I haven't had any vlogging material like I haven't been doing anything outside of my birthday and my birthday was March 12th and I had that girls weekend beforehand and I would have vlogged that weekend I thought about it but I really just wanted to enjoy my birthday y'all like I really wanted to just enjoy my birthday enjoy with the the people that I invited and just be in the moment because I know me with my content I'm trying to just level up a little bit more especially with my vlogs so i know i would have been like focused on that content and i did not want to be so yeah that's where i have been i've literally not been really doing too much so that's why i haven't been vlogging and then i was kind of just like confused on what sit down sit down content i wanted to put out so that's where i've been for all these weeks y'all and i'm just so sorry I'm so sorry but I'm back okay so we have just put some primer on and now we're just gonna get right into it I use the Tarte shape tape concealer and this is in the shade tan deep sand and I just do my under eyes honestly I don't even conceal everywhere like I usually would so I'm just gonna go in and put it here put it there and that is that's that's it y'all that's it I don't do m much more than that we're gonna go ahead and blend this out 
I am taking this, I think it's a concealer brush, y'all. I don't, I don't know. It's um Real Techniques brush. I usually use another brush by Morphe, but I can't find it right now, so we're gonna go ahead and blend out with this. So recently, I just went to Tennessee. I went to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee for my cousin Brittany's um, 31st birthday. And she just got like a cabin and invited some of us out. And it was only like a four hour drive from my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get under the eye y'all, just like blend this out. Hold on y'all, I'm not, I need to go get my beauty blender. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, and we're back and we're still blending. Um, but yeah, so I went to Pigeon Forge for my cousin Brittany's 31st birthday. And it was so much fun, y'all. I was so happy that I was able to go because originally I wasn't able to go. She told me that it was, oh my gosh, I was like, she told me that it was like a kid free weekend and I didn't have a babysitter y'all. I, you know, as you guys know, I don't really have much family that is like super close by. Not like up the street, you know, it's a couple hours um, for the most part. I do have one cousin that lives out here now, but I was just like for a weekend, for it being his first time watching Troy, like, I don't think that that would have been a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my, well, I guess it's not a beauty blender, a beauty sponge, my Real Technique sponge, and just make sure this is blended out. But yeah, so I was just like, oh, cousin, like, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Like, I feel so bad because she came for my birthday weekend and I really wanted to go, but I was just like, I can't, I can't make it. So when she was here for my birthday weekend, my mom actually came out here to watch Troy for me. And um, she was like, well, I'll come back. I'll come back and watch him. You can go to Tennessee. Y'all love my mama, okay? There's one thing she gonna do is come through for your girl. She gonna come through for me. She gonna come through for Troy. She come through for everybody, y'all, just like, it's so crazy. So my mom was like, don't worry about it. I'll come back and I'll watch him. Why you go to Tennessee? Don't worry about it. I'll come back and watch him. So I was able to go to Tennessee and I was happy, y'all. I was so happy because she got proposed to. And I was so, I was so excited. I might insert a clip. I'll probably insert the clip of her getting proposed to at her birthday dinner. And it was just so beautiful. when I was so happy that I actually made it because I almost did and I would have been so sad <sighs> okay so the next step is I go in with my one size powder I got the travel size and I have the big one but um I just grab all of my makeup from my travel bag so this one isn't translucent this is actually a new one I just got so I need to take the plastic off um, but yeah, so in Tennessee, we stayed at a really, really nice cabin, y'all. It was like a very modern cabin. Just up your girl's alley because I'm very particular about where I stay as far as Airbnbs now. And that one did not disappoint. It was nice, it was big, it was um, very updated and modern. And yeah, so it was nice. So I'm just gonna take my powder puff dip into the powder wipe some off and go in under my eye and just start it this powder I love this powder y'all know I love my air spun I've been on air spun for years since I really started doing makeup 
I just have always loved Airspun. But this one size powder is so fine. I love it. It just blends so easily, so seamless. Like, look at that, guys. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> But anyway, so in Tennessee, we um we went to this place called JL's Ranch, JL Ranch, and it was so much fun, like so much fun. We ended up doing some tubing, and when we did tubing, <laughs> yeah, we went tubing, and it was like foam. You had to slide down. It's like a big slide, and there's foam on it. Oh my right, gosh. Right, oh my God. She said that last time you were weak. Ooh, One, two, three, go. Oh my God. Oh, I can't even see. Oh my god! And you have to slide through the foam. It was, we were covered, covered in foam. But it was a good time. We had like such a good time. And then um, after that, later on that night, we went to her birthday dinner where she got proposed to. And then after the dinner, we went to like this hookah lounge. It was called the Funky Buddha. I think because if you know Pigeon Forge is like it's like a mom and town you know and there's not much to do but we found that and it was fun we had a good old time okay so I was gonna vlog that but I had started vlogging and y'all it just didn't go well it it didn't I didn't finish and yes yeah, so I'm sorry about that as well so after that Y'all know I am, these are like my little Holy Grail Studio Fix Powders by MAC. This one is in the shade C8. And I just take this under my eye just so, because I'm not doing like a full beat, I don't want my under eye to be like super bright. So I just take a little bit of this and just like blend it out a little bit more. And then I also take, this is also, um. This is the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. So I just take that and I also take it in my chin because I get oily there. And just basically hit the spots that I put primer on. So I'm gonna get my forehead, which is like my T-zone basically. And yeah. There's that. So this next step, I sometimes do, I sometimes don't because it just depends. Like if it's really just me running errands in the daytime, I really don't contour. But if I'm going out, I'll, I'll contour because I'm, I'm honestly, y'all, I'm not feeling foundation. Like lately, I just have not been feeling foundation at all. So... This has just been so much lightweight. I've been liking how it comes out. So I just literally don't do foundation anymore. So I'm gonna go in with that other um, MAC Studio Press Powder. And this is in the shade NW58. And I just take this brush by Real Techniques. It is Rebel Edge Medium. And it just fits so perfectly on your cheeks. So I just dab a little bit in that take a little off because I'm not trying to do too much now. See, I'm gonna have to blend that out because it looks darker on camera than it actually is in person. But, yep, we're just gonna take that, do, do a little bit, not too much. Get up here because I have my little eczema scar that I hate. But yeah, so then I'll also take some under my chin. 
Y'all, this video is not gonna be long because I'm telling you, <laughs> I can do this real quick, real, real quick. It's nothing. <clears throat> but then I'm just gonna take this brush and blend it out. But yeah, so let's rewind a little bit back to my birthday because her birthday was in April, first weekend in April. So I didn't even really tell you guys what I did for my birthday, for my 30th birthday. Um, I did a girls weekend and I got the Airbnb and the first day was Friday when all the girls got here. We went to this hookah bar called I think it's called Red at 28, Red at 48, Red at 28, something like that. And we had a good time. We got food, we got drinks, and just chit chat. It was more of like a casual night. Welcome. We did a welcome drink when, once everybody got to the Airbnb. And yeah, that's how we started my birthday weekend. Next, I go in with this e.l.f. blush palette. It is the powder blush palette in light. And I use these top two. I blend both of them. And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put some blush on. And I take this brush. As y'all can see, I need to clean my brush, y'all. But it, it was just for this tutorial, okay? Um, This one is, it just says blush brush. That's it. So it's real techniques. Um, next, I went Saturday. We went to this place called Tattoos and Booze, y'all, for brunch. And we had so much fun. Like, it's so lit. It's so lit. I think I might have a clip of me dance. I'm going to insert it. inside a little bit but it's literally like a day party a day party with brunch and then there is um a full-blown tattoo bar i mean a, not a tattoo bar a tattoo parlor upstairs so we went we had brunch and then me and my cousin Vaughn, we got tattoos so that's my blush not doing too much if I was daytime, this is like, I would probably add a little bit more to my nose. But, yeah, this is what it would give. Um, this is, let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know. I can, uh, I might have to insert a photo <laughs> of the tattoo. Oh, there we go. So, I got a mermaid's tail because I am a Pisces. I try to insert a picture too because I feel like I can't really show you that well of when I got it. But I got a mermaid's tail and then my cousin, I think she got a butterfly or some butterflies on in the same spot actually. And it wasn't planned. We just was like, yep, yeah, we get a tattoo. So then after that, we went drinking. I mean, not drinking. <laughs> we were drinking though. We were drinking. We went to the mall. We went to two malls. Um, we have a Carolina Place mall here and then we have well, we have more than these two, but we went to Carolina Place and we went to South Park. South Park is like the bougie mall, has like all the designer stores and things like that. And then that night was my birthday dinner. Y'all. We were so drunk. We were so drunk. It was crazy. Like, I don't think I've ever been that drunk in my life. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun though. That's all that matters. But this tutorial is all over the place. I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in so long, so it's like I feel like I'm chatty. But yeah. Next step. Okay, so next, this is broken, but I take this um, what is this? Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. Um, I broke it, but it still worked. I put it in a little baggie so it don't get all over the place. Take this highlighter and I take this, it says a setting brush, but I like how fluffy it is. And I use this to do my highlighter. 
I don't like a crazy amount, so we're just gonna put a little bit here. Not too much. Don't wanna look crazy. But yeah, we went to this place called Eden of Plaza the night um, that we went to the club for my birthday and got crazy drunk. And we had a good time. We had a good section right by the DJ booth. And then the owner came over. He bought us a round of shots. <clears throat> and then he um, invited us to come back for brunch the next day. And it was on him. So you already knew what we did. Went and got free brunch the next day. Absolutely. Yeah. We got free mimosas as well. So we had a good old time. I'm also going to put a little bit on my nose. Not too much. And then right in my cute as well. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot, baby. Uh-uh. I'm shining, shining. And then sometimes I'll take it because I don't really put any eyeshadow on. I'll take it and just like put a little bit under my eyebrow. And then sometimes I might go in with that like bronzer shade in my crease of my eye. But this is just my little one, two, one, two. Put it all together, that's what we did. Y'all feel me? Okay, so then I would take some mascara. I don't know where my Better Than Sex mascara is right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Marc Jacobs mascara. It's the Velvet Noir Major Value Mascara. I'm just use this today. Um, usually I have lashes, like my little fake um, extensions or the little clusters. If I don't, I'll just do, sometimes I'll just do mascara on my eyes and keep it pushing. I'll go on about my business. But today, we're gonna add a little falsy. I haven't worn strip lashes. Yeah. Mm-mm. Won't do that. Won't do that. But we gonna do it today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add like a thin layer of mascara to my lashes before I put the falsies on. And I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Um, so it's not like super sticky when trying to add the lash. Just a little bit, not too much y'all. So while I let my mascara dry, um, what's to come? So the month of May is coming and I literally have nothing planned y'all. Like I have nothing in the month of May to do besides get ready for my cruise. So <clears throat> for my birthday, I did do the girls weekend. And the only reason I didn't go out of town is because I have a really big cruise coming up in June. I'm going on a European cruise and that is my big birthday trip so um it's docking out of rome <laughs> and i'm like so excited like i've been to europe before um it was in 2020 like right as the pandemic was hitting i had to like rush back to the u.s um but yeah so um this time I'll be going to some countries I've never been to. I've only been to um, <clears throat> the UK and France. So I went to London and I went to Paris when I first went over to Europe. So now I will be going to Italy, two, two places in Italy, two places in Italy, two places in Greece and Turkey y'all. Like I'm so excited. So the month of May, I may, a lot of stuff I'm gonna be ordering online, like clothes wise. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a haul or not, I'm not sure. Um, but I do wanna take you guys along for like all the little last minute things I'm gonna be getting for my trip and I'm gonna do like a pack with me video for my cruise. So that's to come. So look out for that as well as wedding content again because my cousin Brittany who is getting married, I will be in her wedding as well. So 
I'm gonna try to vlog that process as well because I think this time it will be different because I won't be as involved because I'm not her maid of honor and I will really be doing this from a long distance. So I'm gonna try to put in some of that content throughout the year too because she will be getting married next year. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to figure out like how to do, I wanna do like a mini little home update as well for you guys. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. But let's get into to the lashes. Y'all, I do not like strip lashes. I have not worn strips in years. And I don't see how y'all do it. Mm -mm. They're so heavy. Like when you get used to wearing extensions, they're so lightweight. Like they just, they don't feel like anything's on your eye. And then you put this on, it's like, I feel like it's like 10 pounds on my damn eye. Mm -mm. Let's see if I still got it, y'all, because I haven't done this. Got my mirror. I'm gonna look down. And let's see. It's so crazy, though, because when I first wanted to start wearing lashes, of course, it was strips. And I couldn't, I couldn't put them on for nothing. Couldn't put it on for nothing. Okay, but I guess even when you haven't worn them in years, you still got it. It's like riding a bike. You never forget. I guess. Y'all, this lash is too much. This lash is going too much. We're going to keep it pushing. Boom, one eye down. Let's get the other one. Y'all, I can't wait to take these lashes off already. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, ugh, I really don't know where like my natural, more natural lashes are because this is doing a little bit too much for me with this look. <laughs> now I'm already ready to take these lashes off. They're by their ring, my eyes. I just had to go to the bathroom and I was trying to tear up. Not this one itching, mm-mm. So let's finish. <laughs> so, I then sometimes I um, go in with this little angle brush by Real Techniques. It says the finer brush. And I just take a little bit on it and I put it in my inner corner just to like brighten it up just a little bit. I'm not doing too much. And then I do the other side. Y'all, my eyes itching so bad. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't even know why I even have all those um, lashes anymore because I'm not gonna wear them. I don't, I don't see that happening. Ooh. And I don't like wing liner on me. Y'all should know this. I've been saying this for years, ever since I started doing makeup I personally well for one I don't know how to do wing eyeliner like I'm not even gonna lie never really learned how to do it because I never really cared to do it on myself but yeah and it's rare that I ever get my makeup done by somebody else so I just don't do wing liner so we're just gonna line it like regular you know like usual I can't really see right now y'all so it might not be the cleanest we're just gonna do a simple eye line. Ooh, that was too much. Okay. Y'all, I don't know, I can't see. And these lashes is doing too much. I'm sure it's not the neatest. 
But yeah, so have our eyes aligned. Next, I'm gonna go in with my first setting spray. Y'all, oh my gosh, this lash is breaking my eye. It's so bad. Um, I'm gonna go in with my first setting spray, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is my travel one. I should probably just use the Big Maha spray. It's the All Nighter by Urban Decay. Y'all already know this is like a goat in setting spray. So I'm gonna spray all over. Yeah, let that dry. Then next, I'm gonna go in with the one size setting spray. I just added this, y'all. I just added these two together. Love. Love. So we're gonna do this all over as well. Okay. Then I go back in with this, well, not this, but with a mascara and I do my under or my bottom lash line. Um, not too much, just a little bit. Ooh, y'all, I can't see. I'm trying to show y'all. I can't see, it's so in here. I usually do not do bottom um, bottom liner. Most of the time I don't do bottom liner um, unless I'm doing like a white or like a light bottom liner. Um, I don't know, I just haven't been into it lately. Y'all that one size setting spray smells so good. It smells so good. Okay, so let's get into it. Then I'm gonna go on with my favorite lip liner. It is Chestnut by MAC. Y'all already know. I've been rocking with this Chestnut for years. <laughs> I probably need to try some other ones. I use a, a, a different NYX brown lip pencil too, but it's a lot lighter than this. So we're gonna go in with Chestnut. And I'm gonna overline just a little bit. Not too much, y'all can clearly see. I don't really have a top lip, so. And I don't like to look too crazy with the lip line. So just overline just a little bit. And then I just rub my lips together. Cause I already have chapstick on y'all. So I'm just like blending this. And then y'all already know. Y'all already know what's coming next. When do I do something different? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the NYX. Um, this is the soft matte lip cream and this is in London. It smells so good. I need some more of this because it's kind of it's kind of running out, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm just adding that right into the center. Then usually I just take like a clear gloss, but this is the closest gloss to me and it's it's really not a color so i'm just gonna add a little bit because that gets really really mad y'all like really mad so yeah so then normally i would just go back in with this one size just to like set it again but i'm not going anywhere i'm literally about to go take a shower and wash my hair and wash my face so not gonna even do all of that. But yeah, y'all, this is the final look. And y'all probably like, girl, this is like you got makeup on. Well, I should have just kept the lashes off because honestly, when I don't put the lashes on, it does just give like a fresh face, not too much. 
um especially if i do have like the extensions on these are doing too much y'all i'm not gonna lie this is giving you got a beat face but honestly it's so lightweight because i don't have the foundation on i literally only have liquid under my eyes and everything else is just like a soft powder so i don't feel cakey i don't feel like when it's later in the day i don't feel like my makeup is looking cakey like it is not looking crazy i could wear this for hours and not have any issues i went i wore this to disney world y'all i went 80 degree weather and it was no problem i didn't have a problem I didn't feel like I had makeup on. I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm sweating this and that. No. Now, I do still keep my oil pads because I am an oily girl. Um, so, I keep them on deck just in case. But this is just like so lightweight, y'all. I'm telling you, you should definitely try it if you're not big on foundation. But sometimes you want to like, you know, look like you're doing a little something, something. I'm telling you, do the concealer and do some blush and a lip gloss. That's really all you need. You know your eyebrows, some blush and lip gloss. Even if you do a little lash, a little simple lash, or you have lash extensions, just to like add a little boost to your face or to your look. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with it. Look at that. She's cute. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I really want to hear back from you guys. What content do you want to see from me? Because honestly, like I said, I haven't really been doing anything. I work from home. I'm a single mom so I'm literally doing the same thing every day I don't have like anything major that happens during the week I'm literally up at 6 30 taking him to school by 7 5 working and going on my lunch break to pick him up from school working till 6 p.m. cooking dinner doing homework getting him in bed and having like an hour to myself that's literally my daily schedule <laughs> so I'm kind of like I don't really know what content could really come out of that I mean I could do maybe one video showing you guys my day day to day but that's one video it would be very very repetitive if I came on here and did that every week because I literally don't do anything besides maybe instead of cooking dinner I might we might run errands and that might be grocery shopping and then grabbing dinner so it's nothing major um so please just let me know give me some feedback on what you guys would like to see um because i really don't have anything planned in may so i need to figure out what my content will be and i want it to be as genuine as i possibly can be i don't want to be staged i don't want to be come off um like it's not authentic um because i'm trying to show y'all me you know this is me so i don't want y'all to have a facade of who y'all think i am or feel like my content is like structured weird so please just give me your feedback please know that we are still on the road to 500 subbies please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell an auntie to tell a mama to tell a cousin co-worker brother i don't care you know just tell everybody to come follow your girl come join the family and just give me the feedback on what you guys would like to see i do want to put out content that i enjoy but i also want to put out content that you guys enjoy because you are essentially watching the content so i want us to both be able to enjoy what's being put on my channel um but yeah just let me know and i hope you guys like this look if you want to see some more makeup looks or you have any um, makeup tips that you guys would like to know about or whatever, just let me know. Put that in the comment below or the comment section below. Um, I want to try to do some more fashion videos because I noticed that I haven't done any in probably years. So I need to get back on that track. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And until next time... Thank you.